Your reverse osmosis drinking water system, or RO, just doesn't seem to be working correctly, and you know something is wrong. But where do you start to troubleshoot this thing? And you've got some questions. Today, John from the Water eStore team and I are going to answer the most frequently asked reverse osmosis system troubleshooting questions we get, including some that you've not even thought of before, starting right now. We get the same RO troubleshooting questions on our YouTube channel and at the office all day long, every day, when families like yours are struggling with the reverse osmosis drinking water systems. By the end of this video, you'll know where to start and exactly what to do. Okay, John, what kind of troubleshooting reverse osmosis questions do folks have? Well, Gary, the first question we get is, if I don't think things are working properly, where do I start? What do I look at first? Yeah, no, I get it. Changing the filters in the membrane often will f fix, you know, flow and capacity concerns right away. We have a great YouTube video that explains the process that you can go through. And actually throughout this video, I'll be mentioning a number of videos. And with all of those, I'll put a link in the description down below so you can check them out for yourself. And by the way, if you're not exactly sure how a reverse osmosis drinking water system works, now would be a great time to watch this video. All right, I'm gonna try to fix my RO system. What order of things should I look at? Well, you know, first think about what has happened lately that may relate to this concern. Was there a water leak where the RO is installed? If so, you might have tripped the leak stop. Did you recently have some plumbing changes done? Either you or someone else may have done something to shut off the water flow. All right, I'm hearing a noise and it kind of sounds like water is draining from the RO system constantly. What could that be? When the, it's making water or purifying water and filling the tank, that's normal. So, but this also can happen if the ASO or automatic shutoff valve fails, if the check valve fails, or if the membrane has become compromised. And once again, we've got a great YouTube video that'll take you through the whole process, step-by-step -step troubleshooting this concern. All right, I've noticed that sometimes when I'm using my RO, it flows really well to start, but then it kind of slows down to a trickle. What's going on? Yeah, so this usually means that the tank that repressurizes your water has lost its pre-charge. But don't worry, it's an easy fix. And we've got a great YouTube video that shows you the whole process and something you can easily do by yourself. All right, we already covered what to do if it start, if the flow is good when it starts and then comes down to a trickle. What if it never flows well to begin with? Well, <clears throat> this is a common symptom when the filters have become clogged. So replace the filters and check it again. Now, if you've replaced all of the filters not too long ago and you think it might be just one filter causing the concern, what you can do is you can start with the first filter, which is the, the sediment filter, remove that one filter, close the filter housing back up and run the system to see if it's if the performance has returned to normal. If that doesn't seem to be the problem, then you can put that filter back in. The next filter, you can remove that filter, close the housing up with no filter and see if that's caused the if that's fixed the problem. If it has, then you know which filter is causing the problem. In general, when my RO system's working, it's still kind of running too slow for me. Is there a way to improve flow? Well, you can up to a point. You can improve the flow by adding another tank closer to where the water comes out, out of the faucet. So for example, if you've already got one tank in the basement or somewhere that's a little bit further away, you can put a second tank underneath the sink, right under the faucet, or near the fridge, or you can always always add a booster pump. And once again, we've got a great YouTube video that'll guide you through the whole process and explain all the options. All right, we've been using our new RO system a lot, but we seem to be running out of capacity. What can I do to make sure that we have more RO water ready? Well, I mean, you can always add a bigger tank to give you that more capacity. But keep in mind that depending on the size of your system, it typically won't refill that tank faster than about one gallon per hour. This video shows you how to replace the tank. And again, it's another super easy job you can do yourself. All right, Gary, I'm not sure what I did wrong, but now I'm getting no flow at all. What happened? <laughs> if you just replaced your filters and empty the tank, keep in mind that it's gonna take a few hours for the tank to fill. We get that sometimes when folks first install a reverse osmosis system, they're anxious to test the water, but they don't realize it takes a while for that tank to fill, often uh, several hours for it to get up to pressure. But if the filters are new and all the supply and drain lines are open and you still have no flow, check to see if you've got one of these leak stops that's been tripped. And once again, we've got a great YouTube video that explains all about leak stops and about the cartridge that, that you have to replace 
once it's been tripped. All right, Gary, I've decided I'm gonna tackle this project myself. How do I get the membrane and the cartridges unstuck? Well, and that can sometimes happen uh, sometime. So we've got a great YouTube video that explains exactly how to uh, open up the, the filter housings uh, if they're stuck. And I put a link in the description down below so you can definitely check that out. But when it comes to the membrane, you'll need two pairs of pliers like this, one to hold the membrane housing and the other to unscrew it. Where do I go to get more help when it comes to troubleshooting my RO system? Well, you can easily repair uh, these RO systems yourself. I have an in-depth video um, that goes through the whole troubleshooting process step by step. And again, I'll put a link to that video in the description down below. And if you're looking for reverse osmosis drinking water system replacement filters and parts, you can check out our websites at watereastore.com in the US, watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. Click here for your next video on reverse osmosis water filtration, and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments for John and I, leave them down below.